Welcome back. So in this lecture, we will be creating the base mesh of the Baymax character from the animated movie Big Hero 6. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all, uh, here's the questions go that from which object should we start? So we can start from any object. It could be plane or a cube or a spare or cylinder for some people, but it depends on the character for me and also uh, depend on the uh, the on the artist because everyone is everyone workflow is different and everyone work in their own way but i personally do most of the time is the cylinder if you see my other uh, videos but for this one as you can see it's a bit different it's not really humanoid character like it don't have the muscular body or that kind of stuff or the facial head so it's a bit different and we can create it from different objects like this could be a spare or this could be a cylinder this kind of stuff but uh, the, the new thing that I uh, that I found here is that it could be created from a round cube so now what is a round cube and how we can create that so let's start from this one okay so uh, basically we just have to create a cube okay and make sure the cursor is here to the center so if not then shift s and make the cursor to the center and okay uh, if you are lagging in the all the beginners things like how to do this kind of stuff so you can check my blender from D zero to pro course where i teach all the stuffs for really beginners like how to install blender and how to like the first overview and all the stuff so you can check that in details for mastering your blender but in this one it's just focusing on the character so make sure you have some basic information for that okay so uh, shift a and add in a cube and now come up here to the modifiers and add a subdivision modifier with the level of 2 so this is a round cube uh, what does it mean is that it's a simple cube but with having subdivision modifier and that's why it's looking round so that's the basic object that we needed and now we can just start from here okay so grab it here select the down part make it more down like this and okay just do it this one so we can we could see things better okay i can scale this one a bit grab it a bit more down and yep something like this but i think we need a loop here so we would add a loop here and now select the top one let's make it more down like this and for this one let's see my big and also uh, we can add one more here and yep we can optimize it more so the reason for picking up this object is that as you can see it's um, yeah, it's a bit handy to work like it's easy for me to just create this shape so that's why we choose this one and yep something like this okay now from the side view we have to also match it so i would select these tools grab it like this okay for this one it should be a bit to the back or we can just do it in the solid one like this somewhere like this okay okay i think now it's time to apply the subdivision cause it's uh, low fully for now it don't have a lot of blue as you can see okay a uh, few things that i have here it's the q key and let me just show you what i did here so basically come up to any of the tool that you want to uh, pick it quick and right click on that and then make it to add to quick favorite as you can see add to quick favorite and now if i press q I can see that option so it's this time it's the wireframe so I just enable it like this and it's really helpful for me okay but I do a lot of stops like face orientation and navigation but I can remove that for now because I don't need it but yes the these tools I use it a lot okay so now let's apply this modifier and as you can see if I go it's subdivided let's control a and apply scale and rotation and now let's just try to make to match it a bit more make sure to turn on the uh, the symmetry 
and now let's just with the proportional editing I can just set up it like this okay so as you can see from the side view here it's a bit like this okay here it should be here Okay, something like this yep and to match it exact we can just do this here and here yeah okay from this one let's just make it a bit more and yep I think that's it for the base body okay now it's time for the legs so again i would use a round cube so with the subdivision of two right click make it shade smooth scale it down grab it here scale this scale this with z okay but it's as you can see it's a bit different so we would need to apply the subdivision and to do it manually but we can add a loop some loops here and we can also adjust this by adding loops okay one loop here okay, something like this I can rotate this bit and I can see things better now so something like this and yep it's somehow matching okay now we have to mirror this one so I also add the mirror to the quick favorite because I mirror a lot so now Q and mirror and now pick up the central object to just mirror it like this and make sure to don't clip it because we don't need to make it stick to each other we can add a gap here a bit if you like or we can just leave it like stitched it don't really matter but I think this is looking a bit better so yeah okay make sure the feeds are also good from the sides so something like this okay from the top I think I would like to delete the faces to just make it straight and yeah yeah seems fine so let's continue oh okay another round cube and grab this one this time it's for the head okay and scale it with the X and just try to match it and right click and make it shade smooth okay so as you can see it's the base mesh so we don't need to like yeah work more here okay and this time it's let's start for the arms so again a, a round cube okay now scale it with right click shade smooth from the sides it's a bit hard to see this from the sides but we can just like work okay one loop here let's make this one up Okay, and okay, let's make this here. And let's add a loop here. Grab this here. Okay, 
okay um i think this time we can okay before this thing let's just squeeze it from here squeeze it from here Rot rotate that like here and grab this here select this one grab it here something like this okay now apply the subdivision and from the side view we can now match it more so we'll just select this one and make sure you have a big circle of proportional editing try to drag this one here yeah and just follow the shape it's easy super easy character Okay, we would need it a bit squeezed from this side, I think. It's a bit wide and hard to find, but it don't have to be 100% accurate. Yep. Okay, and now let's just mirror this again and with this one. So we have a motivation that it's going to be completed soon. And okay, the last thing in this lecture will be the fingers so okay again we need the same thing around Q and just apply this one cause we need to modify the shape so just select this one and scale it with the proportional editing okay we need to squeeze it a bit more rotate that okay squeeze this okay the first one and also from this side let's just make it like this and rotate that and place it somewhere to be here okay also i think the arms need to be a bit modifier modified from this side yep something like this okay now it's just duplicating that so shift d and now make it a bit wider shift again something like this and one more which could be here so yep just try to make a hand shape Okay, seems fine now it need to mirror so we won't do it one by one so just select all and now select any of the object that have the mirror modifier in case this is this one and now control L and make this one copy modi copy modifier so we copy all the modifiers from this object to this one which was the mirror modifier so it's uh, mirror exact and now we can just modify as we like it okay the last thing that we are going to have is that fixing this one so I would like to add a loop here and now apply this one now squeeze this with like this rotate that and now S Z and then Z to just scale it in that direction and just match it like this 
एस वाई वाई एंड यप now to match it more perfect we can just do it manually but make sure to have a symmetry turned on okay so there could be a bit slight difference uh in these in the both sides but it's totally fine okay now the last thing is select all and right click and smooth vertex and we can increase this so we have a smoother workflow Okay so that's it for the base and in the next one we will be adding details to it and making it high poly character with having such as these details this page and the eyes and completing it so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one